Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm Mike, I'm your council president. Hi everyone, Ashley Houston, I am your council vice president. All of our teams are set, they've all met at least once uh, to do their training and if they haven't already started the proposal vetting, they'll be doing that very soon. So now that we have gone through our proposals and we've really decided which ones we're gonna move forward and which ones we aren't, the next steps are crafting those into actual proposals and starting to get ready to meet with management and have these conversations at the table. It is a process back and forth and they're gonna to try to get us to come off of things that maybe they think aren't as important to us. And we're gonna do the same to them, of course. The way that our bargaining structure works here in the state of Washington, we aren't actually allowed to share the details of what's happening within bargaining, um, but we give uh, as much of an idea of what we are discussing as we can. Obviously, wages will be talked about and working conditions, safety. Um, so we will let you know kind of where we're at uh, with every session that we have. Right. So, for instance, uh, in past sessions when we've sent out communication, we can tell people we had a lot of talks today about updating the telework language or, uh, you know, updating the leave accrual um, or just any other number of things in the contract. So I can't tell you, you know, we propose an additional four holidays a year, but we can say we talked about getting some more leave for folks and that's still in the discussion phase. But rest assured, we're definitely going to make sure that you get updates every time we have a meeting with management and every time we meet as a bargaining team to discuss our bargaining going forward. So as we go through this process with management again, we keep talking about bargaining, we keep talking about exchanging proposals, but what does that actually mean? Well, it means that we have these conversations. We sit down at a table and we bring our contract out and we tell management this is something that we want to change. And we let them know what that language is we want it to look like, and then we hand it back to them. Sometimes it's been easy for us to notice that maybe that's not management's priority. And it can be very frustrating when there's stuff that we've heard from all of you is really important and it's something that is extremely important to your ability to do your job or your ability to you know, live your life however that looks like and management tells us, no, nope, we're not even gonna consider it. Inevitably, one of you who's watching this did put in a proposal that isn't gonna make it into the final contract. Anything that doesn't come through this session... We work on next time. We, we keep trying and we keep trying, especially uh, as folks continue to tell us, hey, this is still really important and this is stuff that we really, we really need to see in that contract. We're at the table bargaining for you. Your team is at the table bargaining for you. And one thing that we need from all of you while we're doing that is your support. So when we send those emails, when we make those asks, having you do um, sending the emails and making the calls and wearing a button or putting a background on your teams, um, those are just little ways to support your bargaining team as we are at the table with management, but also to show management um, that you're here and you're loud and you are worthy of the things that we are asking for, and you are a priority. Our strength comes in numbers. Our strength comes from how many people are actually members of our union. If they're waking up every morning to 500 emails telling them, hey, this is really important, that's going to change their perspective and change the way that they're negotiating with us on those really important contract issues. If you have more questions, um, comments, concerns about the bargaining process, or anything related to your union, please feel free to email Mike or myself. We'll get back to you as quickly as we can on that email. And also on April 24th, feel free to hang out with us at noon and or at seven o'clock in a Teams meeting where we'll be there to have those answers ready for you. We'll have the registration link for that. You don't have to stay for the whole time if you don't want to. If you can't, uh, you know, pop in for 10, 15 minutes, say hello, uh, let us know who you are, you know, where you are, where you work. Um, thanks again.